And thank you so much, Hobie. Good Saturday morning, everyone. The streak of dry weather we've seen for the majority of last week continuing into the upcoming weekend, and we could really use some rainfall right about now as we are well below average in the precipitation department. We've only seen six one hundredths of an inch of rainfall so far for the month of September at Metro Airport. Normally, by this time in mid September, we should have seen close to an inch and a half of rain and going back into 2023 by this time in mid September, we saw about an inch of rainfall and as of right now it looks like it's going to be at least a week to a week and a half before we see any kind of appreciable rainfall heading our way. That means we are keeping an eye on our drought monitor. Some dry conditions showing up with a abnormally dry to drought starting to show up over Ohio, Indiana, Kentucky, but a moderate to severe drought showing up central and eastern Ohio down into West Virginia. But with the latest drought monitor, we are showing some abnormally dry conditions now showing up down into portions of Lenaway and Monroe counties and working down toward the state line. And if we don't get any rainfall anytime soon, these numbers could be creeping northward into the rest of southeastern Michigan as we go through the next one to two weeks. Tower cam over downtown Detroit this morning. Lots of sunshine, a little high cloud covers were waking up with comfortable temperatures across the board. 63 this morning here in Detroit, 57 over in Ann Arbor. 58 this morning in Pontiac and 57 starting off down in Monroe. Visibility reduced in many locations this morning. Five miles in Pontiac as well as over in Metro Airport. Five miles over in Ann Arbor, but down to a mile this morning in Port Huron. So do give yourself some extra time to get to your destination if you do encounter some of this patchy dense fog. High pressure, an upper level ridge of high pressure controlling the forecast from Canada through the northeast, back down through the Great Lakes and into the Ohio Valley. So no sign this dry stretch is going to end anytime soon as the six to 10 day temperature outlook from the Climate Prediction Center keeps the above average temperatures in play for the eastern two thirds of the United States, but also the below average trend for precipitation in play from Michigan through the Ohio down into the Mississippi valleys. So this drier and warmer than average stretch of weather we're dealing with looks like it'll continue into the end of September. Michigan stayed at home today versus Prairie View A&M that kicked off at 3:30 this afternoon. Lots of sunshine, warm temperatures into the 80s for kickoff all the way into the early evening hours tonight and much of the same for the Lions game tomorrow. Buccaneers in town with that one o'clock kickoff over at Ford Field 60s for tailgating by mid morning 70s by lunchtime. We're back into the 80s by late tomorrow afternoon. Low to mid 80s heading into our Sunday. A little more cloud cover into the forecast and we rinse and repeat what we're looking for tomorrow all the way through next week. Highs into the 80s lows into the 60s with a little more cloud cover and mostly cloudy skies rolling in by the end of next week on Friday.